What's up, family? Lord, I got a message for you, and I pray this blesses somebody in these two. But I was just on a little prayer walk, walking and talking to God, and he put it on my heart to make a video about him preparing a table for you. Him setting a meal down so you can eat with him and know that it's from him. The Lord says, you don't know the plans he has for you yet, but you will. But it's plans for the future to give you hopes in the future. So I feel the season that you're in right now, no matter what you go through, the Lord is preparing something for you. Maybe you might feel lost, don't know where you're going. Feels like you're praying and nothing's happening, but when something happens, you know it's the Lord. Because everything you tried didn't succeed. Maybe some people have been talking about you, saying this or saying that. And you wanna say something back, but you can't. The Lord says he just wants you to endure, to endure because those people are lying on your name and they're saying things about you. But when you stand 10 toes down and follow Jesus and you follow God and you prosper in everything you do, and no matter what people say, you continue to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No matter what's going on, thank you, Lord. I'm holding on, I'm holding on. He's gonna to continue to prosper whatever you do. And then those same people that see you feasting and eating with Jesus while you're praising him and he's blessing you with more and more and more. Maybe right now he's only blessing you with some things where he hasn't blessed you yet or you've been praying for something and it hasn't happened yet, but you know what's gonna happen because you have that faith. Maybe right now you're in an endurance season. Something has happened and you have to endure the consequences because of it. Or something is happening, you have to go through the trial that you face. But as you go through this trial, continue to praise the Lord and continue to thank him for everything he's doing because he's putting things, setting things on your table so you can come down and eat. You can have a break and you can feast. And when those same people that were saying, oh, he's such a bad person, or oh, she's such a bad person, or this about them or this about them oh they follow god but it, it has to be something wrong with them it has to be something else i knew the whole time that this was not them i knew uh, this is that and this is that and the whole time you're just sitting there like i've just been trying to do my best i've just been following god and doing whatever it is to show people that i'm really christian i'm really trying to do the right thing but the Lord just says you have to endure. Because when you follow God wholeheartedly, it's still gonna be some people that claim to follow God or some people who don't like you say that, oh, he's not this, oh, he's not that. Because when you follow God in his word, he says you're gonna have haters because of it. And he says he's sorry that People are gonna hate you because of you scream his name or you say his name. And the Lord just says just to keep enduring because when they see you feasting at that table, they're gonna want that. They're gonna say, oh, how did he get there? How did he get there? And then you're gonna say, oh, the Lord did it. But instead of you feasting at that table, it's not to feast at that table and be like, haha, look where I'm eating at. Look where I'm eating at. Look where you at. You were, you were lying on me. Now the truth came out. Uh, no, it's for you to sit at that table and continue to praise God. So when those people who lied and judged you unjustly or didn't know the real you, when they come to you, you can show them that love that the Lord, the Heavenly Father has given you. You can say, yeah, I know you said this about me. I know this happened in the past, but it's all in the past now. When you follow God, you're going to have people like that. But you continue giving glory to the Heavenly Father because the table that the Lord is preparing for you, the future that the Lord is preparing and gathering up, 
it just can't amount to the joy that you're going to receive. The tears that you have cried is it is the, the sowing of the, the fruit that is coming. Don't know if y'all caught that. Kind of stuttered over my words. But the tears you have cried doesn't amount to the joy that is to come. See, when you cry and Jesus wipes your tears, that's a seed that is planting spiritually because when that seed grows, it's gonna grow into joy. The same situation you cried over will be the same situation that the Lord brings you to, but instead of you crying over, there'll be joy. That same ex that has lied and broke up with you and you were so sad and depressed, God will send you a holy relationship. And you will have happiness. Yeah, it will be trials through that relationship, but you will be happy. That same car that you cried over when you got in the accident, God will send you a new car. The same thing, situations that you cried over when the Lord fixes it and it brings joy, but you can't say when you, when you leave that ex and you get a new relationship with Christ or a new godly relationship, you can't go to that ex and be like, oh, look what the Lord did for me. Ah, look, yeah, you see, I'm up now, I'm up now. No, the Lord wants you to say, see, I know what happened in the past, but if you follow God, your heart would be in the right place. You don't, when the Lord prepares something for you, he doesn't want you to be unjust. Because a lot of people don't know the demons. Everyone has their demons. Everybody has their sins they struggle with. So when the devil uses the demons inside of people to attack you, you put on the armor of God. And instead of arguing with that person, let them attack you. Let them let them throw everything they got. But you just you defend yourself spiritually and fight back with your words. Continue to endure and let them talk about you to other people. And when those people come saying, Oh, you did this, you did that. No, I didn't. Tell them the truth. Speak the truth. Yes, yeah, happened but I'm gonna continue following God. Don't try to fight flesh with flesh because it's gonna to lead to more fire. It's like fighting fire with fire. So while the Lord is preparing this table for you and the situation that's going on around you, the storm around you, continue to have peace in your bubble. It's possible to have a storm around you when you have peace in your little boat. It's possible to have, be in the middle of an ocean with storms, thunder, lightning, waves pushing you around and around and you have peace on your little rowboat. Because you, it's about the thing that you have on that rowboat. If you have Jesus on that rowboat with you and you know he's, he can cast all of this away in a snap of a finger, then you, you're at peace knowing that he will not let you sink. You have peace knowing that whatever he throws at you or whatever the world throws at you is a trial that you can endure. So have peace. Have peace today knowing that the Lord is setting a table for you and the things that is happening, the people talking, the lies, and the storm that's going on around you is just a test of faith. Continue to follow God and continue to know that he is doing something great. I love you, family. I didn't really have made a video in a minute because I've really been trying to see what God has been doing in my life. And I kind of, kind of see. So I've just been getting on my, my grind, you know, trying to speak to God and whatnot. So I'm going to be making more videos. I'm back on the grind. I just want to thank y'all for the support. I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.